That's where art starts, with a doodle. And that's where I started. I'm in school and I'm doodling around. Pretty soon it's a drawing. I'm somebody that just really loved it and admired it and brought it forward and found a home for it. He set the bar. Everything was compared to him. Came from surf world, hot rod world, rock world, and I was going like, I'd rather work with this guy way more than the other dude. I mean, to me, this dude has more soul. <laughs> You're all fired! You're all fired! And the mantra is, everything else fails and that succeeds. That's all you care about. When an idea comes to you out of nowhere, that's the real thing, so that's what you pay attention to. You've seen his work. Mr. Jim Phillips is here. Right. Surfing and skateboard artist, Jimmy Phillips. The volume of work that he has done is just beyond anything I've ever known. He changed art on skateboards forever. Screaming Hand, Rob Rossigov, all that stuff is like, that's as iconic as like the Rolling Stones tongue or something. He was super collaborative with everyone. He knew how to make Tom Knox look like Tom Knox. He knew how to let me be me, even when I didn't even know who the f I was. These guys were punks. They wanted the wild stuff, and so I was right there for it. It's hard for an artist to work at times when the business end of things is pushing and tugging and due dates and deadlines. I was losing ground and I just couldn't do it all. I thought it was all over. I thought I had a month to live. I didn't think I'd see the end of some of my projects. It happened so fast. There's no taking it for granted. He was giving skateboarding its identity. Jimmy was probably the most famous artist that nobody ever knew.